I've talked a lot of shit on this game throughout the some games a few times in certain contexts. But I mean, you know, I was one of those people that the first time I played Ocarina of Time, I was like, wow, this is the fucking greatest thing I've ever played in my life. And you know, it wasn't even an opinion that I had heard, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't even like a fucking thing, like, oh, it's just, you know, a lot of people actually thought that, I guess. And I mean, it makes sense. Just the intro's fucking dope. I can imagine this was a big deal for people who were already Zelda fans, you know. Big uh, link to the toilet paper pan uh, fans. If it looks kind of fuzzy, it's because I'm playing this through an upscaled AV signal. What you're looking at is an actual a uh, analog signal coming out the, uh, the GameCube. Or the Wii, rather. I do have my GameCube plugged in also, but my GameCube is functionally my Game Boy. I keep the fucking Game Boy player strapped at all times, you know what I'm saying? So the fucking disc just stays in that hoe. And then the, uh, the Wii, I just run the backups the same way I would on the Wii U, so I don't actually have to fuck with my discs or ever touch my collection anymore. <laughs> they can just sit there and fucking be still. But this is still exactly as you'd be playing it on the GameCube. Controllers plugged straight up in there, saving to the memory card and all that. How can we trust this fucking lazy piece of shit sleeping at like one in the afternoon? What's wrong with you, Link? Link! I'll say right off the bat too, I don't have the problem with uh, Navi that a lot of people have. Navi's adorable. You know who I hate is bitch ass fucking Tattle. I want to fucking smack Tattle with a fucking... Uh, Goddamn fly swatter. Tattle's a bitch. I don't like Tattle. Navi's fucking adorable though. Yeah, see, look at my button layout. Yahoo, it's a me, Link. I'm sorry, uh, who are you? Yeah, see, if I want to save, it's like... <laughs> wow, I can't believe a dirty muggle like you gets to go talk to our lord and savior. I'm not jealous at all. Man, this game, though, it really is all that, you know? Yeah, it's dated, even compared to other Zelda games, but the the one benefit that I uh, loosely went into way back in uh, Legacy of Darkness, Zelda games have an inherent value in being what they are. They have the same, they have not only value as like video games. <laughs> Listen, see, that's adorable. Uh, aside from, you know, value as a video game, most Zelda games have the same inherent sort of value that, uh, books have in the, in the way that they tell their story. They're like interactive books, more so than anything, with, like, pop-up puzzles. And the inherent nature of the puzzles and the level design, you know what I'm saying, they are basically, like, isolated little toys, just in the form of, like, a interactable video game. It doesn't matter how old a game like Ocarina of Time becomes, Playing through the puzzle of one of its dungeons is something, you know, that can always be really fun to do in any context. Do not let this boy into your home. He is a menace. My grandma's pottery! You fucking animal, what have you done? Yeah, whatever. My sister, da 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 anyway. And this is one of those games where, like, you just be finding shit out. I'm sure people already knew this. Well, you know this because she tells you. But like, I don't know, it was only a couple of years ago that I figured out that there was something back here. I fucking just went over there by accident and I was like, what the fuck? You know, it was a good dozen times before I ever realized that. It's crazy. How much is the shield? 50? 40. Fucking racist. Oh, it's because I haven't bought the shield, I just got the money. <laughs> I got $40. And every song in this game is just a fucking hit too. It's a fucking bop. A bop and a half. And see, look, what's Navi said? Like, fucking one thing. Hey, Link, don't forget. Bitch just got notifications is all. If you want to see the great Deku tree, you should at least equip a sword and shield. And what's that? You have a sword and a shield? And a green hat? And my mom likes you better? I'm just kidding. These guys don't have moms. They're fucking little magical Peter Pan people. How did you get to be the favorite of Saria and the great Deku tree, huh? Grumble, grumble. <laughs> turgle, turgle. Who turgled? Oh shit, hold on, let me fucking... If you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, there's uh... You can speedrun it that way. I really wouldn't call it a speedrun. 
nor would most people, which is why it's not really like recognized. You can set up some nonsense basically and you can fucking fuck with the camera and crawl in like an invisible hole somewhere around that wall. And then when you do, the game glitches out into like a black screen and it hits the credit roll. And, then I, and I mean, people recognize it because you can do it. You know, it's a thing that, that's actually there, but they slumber these past moons. Oh, never mind. They slumber these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. <laughs> I forgot fucking Deku Tree talked all fucking come hither young Linkle. Linketh. <laughs> Verily, thou hast felt it. <laughs> Link, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed, I tell you. I need to break this curse with the wisdom and courage and the power of your f courage and the force of three things. <laughs> Dost thou have thine courage enough to undertaketh this tasketh? <laughs> Yeseth. Okay, little boy, crawl into my mouth. It's okay, don't worry. This is perfectly normal. Just walk in, and Link, when Navi speaks, use up to listen to her words of wisdom. That's what my mom used to say about Jesus. <laughs> Those might be some uh, audio errors due to this version of it. Because this is basically some virtual console on disc type shit, you know what I'm saying? Exclusively for the sake of... Uh, you know, Ocarina of Time. And the reason why I think Ocarina of Time works so well in this disc and why it works so well in, uh... You know, Virtual Console in general is because the whole thing was, uh... The point of this was clearly... <laughs> clearly! To integrate some of this uh, style of control into Wind Waker, into the new, uh, functionality. Because this works very well on the GameCube. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look at this wall! Look at these vines and shit. Maybe you can climb it, Link. <laughs> Maybe if you press up on the control stick while standing in front of the vines, you'll climb. Hey, Link, have you tried pressing A in front of a chest? I mean, you gotta learn these things somehow. It's just a very dated way to do tutorials, very blatant. Games nowadays typically try to be a little more immersive with it. <laughs> I don't need to read. Don't tell me how to play Ocarina of Time. You can open a door. <laughs> Link, this is a door. Open it by opening it. And see, it's not like it's the only one. Fucking same shit with Metal Gear Solid 2 even. <laughs> right, that's a door. Press the A button to open it. <laughs> Colonel, what the fuck are you talking about? I, I mean, turn it with your right hand. This isn't a video game. A spoil in Metal Gear. When you jump off a high cliff, you'll fucking die. Don't do it. Please. There's more to live for, Link. Yeah. No, yeah, I never really fucked with much Zelda. Which, given the fact that I started playing on the 64, you know, says a lot. But, you know. I was only a little bit late to the Ocarina of Time party. I was way late to the uh, Majora's Mask party, though. Which I gotta say, I've, I've always liked Majora's Mask better than Ocarina. Oh shit! Wait, can you do that? You saw that, right? I just fucking opened that shit at the same time that I crashed into it. Have you always been able to do that in Ocarina? And see, I didn't press C right, I pressed X. You can play this just like the Wind Waker. X is right, Y is left, and Z is down. It's literally the same button layout as a uh, Wind Waker. And so it works perfectly fine. You can still use the C-Sticks. Because there's no uh, dynamic camera con- Shit. Because there's no dynamic uh, camera controls like there was in uh, Ocarina. Or uh, Wind Waker, you know. They did eventually add that, though, to, um... I don't remember if they added it to Ocarina of Time 3D. I don't think they did, but they did add it to Majora's Mask 3D. If you are playing it with the, uh... If you have a second stick at your disposal, either through the peripheral on the original DS, or a new 3DS, or new 3DS XL, which a lot of 3DS owners did, then, yeah, you did get 3D camera controls, which that was cool. 
Um, I do want to play those versions. You know, I want to at least play these disc versions, the virtual console versions, if not the originals, because Majora's Mask is a lot harder to get a hold of, and I do already have the virtual console anyway on the Wii and the Wii U. Which, you know, they should be mostly unchanged. You know, there's the control scheme on this one that's a little bit different. There's the aesthetics that are different. You know, instead of the A button being blue, like on the 64, it's green. Like on the GameCube, you know, the buttons match like in that way. Oh no, I didn't do it that time. I did. Well, would you looky that. But yeah, Ocarina of Time. It's far from my favorite Zelda now, but like I said, it was really Im it was really impactful. I'd never played a game like it. I'd played adventure games, I had played, you know, puzzle games, but this really does it all really well. It puts it all together in a w in its way. Uh, and it's one of those things where after playing this, it became really clear where the other ones like got it from, you know what I'm saying? It's one of those things where it kind of did almost like ruin a lot of other games for me. Cause it's like, what was the point of playing like some generic wannabe Zelda when I already knew actual Zelda was out there? Shit. I don't know how I figured out the fucking putting away your Deku stick thing. I think I was just mashing the button one time. Or I might've just actually been trying to do that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, what is it? 32 is number one or 23 is number one? Yeah, 23 is number one. <laughs> Do you think I'm a traitor? Hell yeah. He should have died with some honor. Unfortunately, Link is more honorable than I am and he didn't kill him mid-dialogue. I would have on some Skyrim type of shit for sure. And see, like, Skyrim does some shit great, but what it doesn't do great is dungeons. After you get into the water, if you hold down, you can dive. If you hold your breath, you won't drown. <laughs> but if you don't, you will. No, wait, I gotta hit the switch. I only ever played the Master Quest like fucking one time too, so when we play that, that shit's gonna fucking stink. <laughs> See, it's generous enough too, because just in case you weren't paying attention to where the thing was positioned. Uh, what I do know about this game, and I guess it says a lot as to why I didn't like a lot of the Zeldas before it, stand next to this block and grab it and push it. Did you know you can push things? It's a lot of the same shit you were doing in the 2D Zeldas, just with, you know, new camera perspectives and, you know, the 3D aspect of it actually climbing up shit. Which, the verticality alone, look at how many games in the PS2 and even in, like, the PS3, 360 era struggled with verticality and, and level design, you know what I'm saying? Because the shit's hard. You know, it's not easy. But, you know, if you're a fucking... If you're a mastermind, I guess, like fucking A.J. Aonuma is. And that's the thing. This was the first game that A.J. Aonuma worked with. I don't really fuck with the Zeldas before it. I don't fuck with Miyamoto Zelda as much. It's his series. I can respect that. But, you know, Aonuma just makes a better Zelda game. And clearly he agrees because he let the motherfucker basically take over. You know, it was still his shit. He still had final say over everything, I guess, but... Now it's a whole ass new thing. You know, it's a new team behind Zelda. Which, you know, is why Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are so different. I'm hoping Aonuma hasn't completely put up the... You know, put it all up yet. I'm hoping we can still get some Aonuma-style fucking Zeldas. You know, more traditional Zelda. I like a good linear, uh puzzle game, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, you need to come back here with bombs. <laughs> Uh-oh, Zelda's a Metroidvania now. <laughs> Damn it. Foiled again. Yeah, you know, it, it's a little, it, it is aged, of course, you know, the movement's a little more jagged for as pioneering as it was, you know. You know, Link can't necessarily really rotate or turn on a dime. You try to spin around and it's just like, uh-oh, you can do this though. I could have done that better. Oh, Link, no. 
Now I have to do the whole dungeon over again, bit by bit by bit. Every single piece. I have to get all the items again. I have to do all the puzzles again. I have to fucking restart from the entrance. It's terrible. It's god awful. Oh! My shins exploded. I'm just kidding. That is one good thing about it. It'll save basically all this stuff if you basically already finished it. I need to switch the Z targeting to hold. I used to prefer it. Uh, you know, just the toggle, but I like holding the control now. It's it's more, you know, it's more accurate, more subtle control. But it's nice that you have the option, especially if you're like a kid, maybe with bigger hands or just hands whose aren't as dexterous. So yeah, the first dungeon is really easy. Not really much of a dungeon, not a whole lot of puzzle solving to do. Just obstacles to get over to, in, to instill the dynamics of it all. And it's good. The second dungeon follows a little more. It gets a little more hostile and dangerous. And the third dungeon kind of puts, you know, those two things together. And then beyond that, once you go into Adult Link... Parasitic Armored Arachnid. No, yeah, once you get into, like, Adult Link, though, with the actual temples proper, then it's more of a... You know, then it's more of, like, a real challenge. Then it's really uh, puzzling. Oh, damn, that spin attack. That was a lot easier than I remember. Sometimes you just get unlucky. You know, if you're not really trying too hard with Goma. And you might get a lot of, like, super armor, and she might be dropping eggs and shit. Goma's, of course, a recurring boss. Tutorial boss type of shit. You always gotta get the heart piece first so you don't come back. Quick and painless. You know, still hazards. You can still die from fall damage. You can still get hit and die. Well done, Link. <laughs> well doneth, youngeth child. Doth thou haveth thine courage to fight a fucking grown man in the pit? Thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage, bitch. I knew that thou wouldst, wouldst, wouldst be able to carry on my wishes, <laughs> mine own wishes. Hear ye, now, I have yet more to tell ye, <laughs> wouldst thou listen? Fuck no, not if you're going to be talking like this. No, Link, <laughs> thou must know <laughs> my time is short. <laughs> Grandpa, no, shut the fuck up, kid, you, listen to me. There's a black man from the desert. Don't trust him. Grandpa! <laughs> Ganondorf's a cool-ass villain, you know what I'm saying? It's iconic. This was the first proper appearance, I think, of Ganondorf, right? I mean, Ganon has been present from the beginning. From the beginning, right? But that was just, you know, Ganon. For it is in that sacred realm that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. You mean the goddesses? Like literally, what's the point of gendering them if you're gonna misgender them? <laughs> you could just stick with them as gods in general. But no, you went out of your way to call them goddesses, just to misgender them then. What the fuck is that? Din, Nehru, Faror. My dumbass, I guess, just never realized there was a second R in Faror. I always thought it was Pharaoh for like years, and then one day I realized I was like, wait, is that. It's Faror?
<laughs> Din. With her strong flaming arms, she cultivated the land and created the red earth, like Mars. Nehru. Poured her wisdom onto the earth and gave the spirit of law to the world. Fuck 12. Pharaoh brought Kush and Loud to the world and let everybody fucking vibe. And they just dipped. This is some good ass fucking cinematic cutscene shit though. The lore of Zelda is just cool with all that shit. The Triforce is some of the coolest imagery. You know, it's so simple, just fucking three triangles. Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred Triforce. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. Whatever you do, don't be a dumbass kid and open that door no matter what. You hear me? That evil man who cast the death curse upon me and sapped my power. He's smoking me, Link. He, he, he's smoking me like Kush. He fucking tapped the resin straight out of my shit. He's high as fuck, Link. You can't, you can't fuck with him now. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. I'm just a tree. I haven't been able to tell ye of, of thyeth important man. Why aren't you talking like that anymore? I'm fucking dying, Link. I can't keep that shit up. I'm, I'm fucking. I'm tired. I'm old. <laughs> Goeth now with to High Ruleth Castle. There thou willeth sincerely meet thine princess of <laughs> thou destiny. Taketh this rock with you, and smoke of it, <laughs> and thy shall know my power. <laughs> Holy shit! It's literal green crack. <laughs> Ganondorf wanted to smoke this shit, but I didn't let him link. Don't, don't let him smoke this shit. Don't ever let him smoke this green rock. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of people just don't like uh, the fact that you have to read so much in Zelda games. The future depends on thee, Link. Thou art courageous. Navi the fairy, help Link to carry out my will. I entreat... <laughs> <laughs> Trees can't cough. I guess they can't talk either. Why does he need a mouth? <laughs> oh shit. The muggle killed the fucking Jesus tree. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here, Link, before someone sees. Hey, Link, what the fuck did you just do? The great fucking Deku tree died. How could you do a thing like that? It's all your fault. Oh. Yeah, the lore's real simple. It's not exactly, like I said, the best story. As I've said before, I think Skyward Sword's the only, uh, legitimately good story in the series. You know, the lore overall is pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, you're leaving. Oh, I'm sorry. Kinda name is Saria, too. Ocarina of Time is fucking dope, also, just because of the ocarina. It's a cool-ass mechanic. It's one of the, my favorite things in video games. But yeah, it's about time we started playing these on on the actual uh, GameCube hardware, either the GameCube or the Wii. Oh fuck! Yeah, yeah, here we go. Hoo hoo! <laughs> Link, look up here. It appears the time has come for me to say all types of shit. You ready? You better press the right button. I will say all types of shit and I'll skip through it really fast and then you'll never know if you're supposed to say yes or no to the thing I said if you want to skip my dialogue. <laughs> Did you get all that? Yes. <laughs> Alright then. You got me this time, motherfucker, but I'll be back. 
You better be on your toes, bitch. You better be reading. Termina did a much better job of giving you a, a place to run around to. Hyrule Field is effectively nothing. It's nice. It's ambient. But it's a little more. Now, yeah, the ocarina mechanic is cool. All the stuff you can do with it. Um, you know, this is a fun game. It's very, very lackluster compared to the shit that you can do in like something like Dark Souls, maybe. But it's effectively the same thing. You've got your, in you know, I'm, I'm not joking particularly whenever I call Dark Souls a Zelda-like. I mean, I am making fun of people who say things like Metroidvania or roguelike. But I mean, you know, literally, play some Ocarina of Time and then tell me that fucking Dark Souls isn't just fucking that but edgier. Like, yeah, I get the appeal of a game like Dark Souls is that it's a good, good, so hard type of game. Where's the giant one? There we go. <laughs> Anyway, you should have already seen this fucking analog quality, at least in a snippet with a uh, Sonic Adventure. But yeah, you know, this way you're seeing the full ass analog signal. The signal itself, well, no, the the picture itself is upscaled to to 1080, but it's you know it's just an it's still the same like fucking 240p whatever it is analog signal. Whereas on the Virtual Console and stuff like that on. Or just if I were to be playing this on uh, on the Wii U, you know, upscaled natively on the HD format. God damn it. <laughs> Did you know this is a castle? You want to hear what I said again? No. See what I mean? Motherfucker tries to trip you up. Like, all right, you're a smart kid, I guess. They had to have done that to, like, fuck you a little bit, huh? So you want to get caught, right? So that fucking what's-her-face will be out there talking about, Aw, oh, you dumb fuck, you got caught, didn't you? Yep. Hey, your clothes- <laughs> wow, look at those clothes! <laughs> oh fuck, I didn't know Sean Schimmel was in this game. Gotta change this shit to an M rating. You know Super Mario? He's my dad. Are you going to see my dad, Super Mario? <laughs> Would you mind beating him with this stick for me? Only if he's asleep, I mean. Just because he should know better. Um... Yeah, okay. Oh, duh. Verticality. See? Even people nowadays struggle with it. Egg's about to hatch. Woig! What in goddamn tarnation? <laughs> well, if it ain't one of you little green immigrants, what are you doing in Hyrule? What are you doing out of the forest, boy? You lost? <laughs> what? Oh, my daughter's gonna beat me bad for this one. And yeah, see, they show off the cinematics without going too heavy into it. Obviously, the cutscenes are a different story, but, you know, that's narrative. That's... It's the in-between, then, that really fucking is the sauce of it, you know what I'm saying? It's the thing that pulls it together. And some Zelda games do it better than, than others. Admittedly, Ocarina of Time being the first, you know, the first one into the 3D aspect of it, uh, doesn't do it quite as well as some of the other ones have. But again, just, you know, the time that it came out in isn't much of an excuse either, because, I mean, Skyward Sword is kind of lacking in that same department. I think it's better overall than a lot of them, story-wise, level design-wise. Too easy. Camouflage, motherfucker, I'm green. Yeah, so clearly I've played this game once or twice before. So that aspect of it, unfortunately, is kind of lost on me. The dungeons are still fun, but I have solved them before. It's like doing a puzzle you've done before. Yeah, it's, there's still the challenge of doing the puzzle, but it's just like, yeah, it's a fucking picture of a horse again. What did you call me? Uh, what? Wait, you've got that, you've got some of that green rock then, right? From the forest? You can get me some, right? Please? Do you have any? Uh... Bitch, get away from me. What? Oh. All right, well, I don't really want to talk to you then. Not if you don't have some of that green rock with you. Are you sure? <laughs> I knew it. 
you green kids always have rock. What? Ma'am? Shh, just... Shh, that's the princess. Just fucking let her say whatever she wants. What did you say? Nothing, your highness. It's fine. This green child has plenty of rock for you. All the rock you want, ma'am. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, sure. I won't broadcast this to the internet. <laughs> Alright, good. Didn't we already see this? The three goddesses hid the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. The power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been told. So, the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones. Temple of Time is also a weird thing too. It just exists in different ways, in different places, at different times. That's right, the Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. The fucking hyperbolic time chamber? But the entrance is sealed with the stone wall called the Door of Time. And in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. Well, I got one of them. Did you understand well the story I just told ye? Yes. Awesome. I forgot to tell you, I've been spying on my dad's political meetings too, and there's this fucking terrorist from the desert over there. And that's what my racist grandpa said. When you look through the window at him, I guess. There's a lady taking a shower across the hall. Do you want to see? Um, I, I guess... Can you see the man with the evil eyes? Ganondorf. <laughs> Ganondorf. Ganondorf. The leader of the Gerudos. I don't like the look of him. <laughs> the dark clouds from my dream must symbolize his dark skin of evil. <laughs> Whoa. Jesus Christ princess what no one's ever told me there was anything wrong with speaking this way well shit <laughs> there is oh I'm sorry <laughs> what Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm I mean, his name literally has fucking the name of, like, their evil fucking demon throughout history in it. You don't think Ganondorf could be in any way related to Ganon, do you? Sounds like it. Yeah, actually. <laughs> Ganondorf. Fucking short Ganondorf. Ganondorf with dwarfism. What? You, you got a problem with, with Ganondorf being inclusive? Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does. <laughs> we'll just nuke China before they nuke us. Don't worry, Link. Just take this letter to the president. But yeah, the Temple of Time, even like in Skyward Sword, it was already all fucked up and old. That was like the oldest we've seen the Temple of Time. And it was in the oldest game where it should have looked the newest. It was also somewhere completely different. It was like in the fucking Laneru Desert. My, she said she had a dream where I taught a green kid a song. I guess that's you. You ready? You know how to play that shit? There is no button for up, though. Just like in, uh... 
just like in Wind Waker, you know, up is for the camera. So there, there's no alternative for it, you know, there was no button assigned to it. You just flicked up on, uh, up on it for the camera. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain. You'll die there, Link. Are you ready? Are you ready to go to the volcano and die? No. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. If you play it in front of peasants, they'll fear you. Cause you know, the royal family kills people. That's what the that's what the shadow temple is. Seriously. The fucking music in this game, like I said, too. Of course, you know, a lot of these songs have already existed. A lot of these songs were grandfathered into the series, the original title theme. Well, I mean, this one has its own, you know, intro theme. But even then, that song is uh, from A Link to the Past, I think, too. That fucking do-do-do-do-do-do. That shit plays whenever you, uh, you know, play the flute to fly off to places. What did you say to me? The road is closed beyond this point. Can't you read the sign over there, you fucking dirty peasant? You're just like the rest of them, aren't you? Actually, no. <laughs> what? She said she's gonna beat me if I don't let you in through the fucking gate? This is Link. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. Alright, kid, I'll let you up on the mountain to die just because what, what am I gonna do? Tell the princess no? <laughs> Go ahead, kid. Get fucked up there. Hey kid, I got a favor to ask of you. You know Pikachu, right? Fucking scalpers have been chilling out in front of the Toys R Us for weeks now. If you can kill one of them and get a Pikachu doll from my kid, I'd give you fucking ten dollars for it. Wow, ten dollars? Sick. And yeah, that's a whole thing, the mass side quest. It's definitely a side quest. Doesn't really get you much for doing it, but... What would Saria say if we told her we're going to save Hyrule? <laughs> Link, do you like macaroni and cheese? Yeah? It's alright. Better than fucking Midna's ass. Midna's alright too, though. Not weird ass humanoid Midna. Get that shit out of here, though. You freaks can have that. All right, it's because I don't know the song yet, even though I clearly do. <laughs> Duh, stupid. Oh fuck, it's Zelda. I'm sorry, your highness, please. Don't, don't enslave our people again. Oh fuck, who the fuck are you? That's that resourcefulness. They make it too easy. That's that shit. You can like glitch into Zora's domain early, right? Hey, over here. Hoo -hoo. Let's see what it actually has to say. Link, good to see you again. Listen to this. Hoot hoot. After going through the Lost Woods, you will come upon the sacred forest meadow. That is a sacred place where a few people have ever walked. Shh! What's that? I can hear a mysterious tune. You should listen for that tune, too. Who? Who? Ho? Who? Who? Ho? I'm an owl, bitch. You wanna hear what I said again? No. If you are courageous, you will make it through the forest just... What? Am I going to the sacred woods right now? It should be straight from here, right? Nope, I was wrong. You can also just kind of follow the map. You should be coming up on the top side. So, you know, on the left here. And then it should be up again. And then it should be on the right, because that'll take you straight up, you see? Oh, no, it was on the right. Of course, the music is reassuring. I don't give a fuck about some patterns. I'm just aggressive with it. 
I'm playing this motherfucker like Smash Bros. That is exactly what I do to people in Smash Brothers. You can ask them. I just pick Young Link and fucking... Uh, Hard-headed ass motherfucker. Oh. Them big ass moos. Them moo moo men. Them cows. What are they, moblins? They mobbing. Too bad we can't just learn the song to teleport here already. That sure would be something. I ordered fucking half sweet tea, half unsweet tea from fucking Sonic. Shit was sweet as fuck. I had to throw in some straight up just purified water up in that hole and it's still straight sugar. They did not get me half unsweet. This place will be very important to both of us someday, possibly seven years or so in the future. That's just how I feel. Would you like to play the ocarina with me? <laughs> don't do it. What? You bitch. Come on, you don't want to do that. Oh shit. <laughs> when you want to talk to me, just call me on the cell phone. Dial my phone number. It's basically what you're doing. You're pressing six buttons. I'm glad that I can finally capture this shit. I've always wanted to catalog and show people, like, cool shit that I can do. Playing Ocarina of Time's not very hard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In terms of... Oh my god. What the fuck is a quest status subscreen? Imagine if, like, somebody told you that. You can save your game in the pause menu. What? Oh, fuck. Throw on some beetles for this motherfucker. Man, I love playing these games again. Well, I mean, right now it's just Ocarina of Time, but, you know, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess are all to come. I'll probably play a game or two in between, just to space out all the good fun, but I've been looking forward to playing some games I actually love for a minute. Oh! Ooh! Ooh, yeah! Fucking Macho Man. Fucking... <laughs> fucking roided out, motherfucker. They done put this motherfucker in Hyrule Warriors. At least the original one. Just like that, my depression is cured. Hey, have you tried just being happy? I am Darunia. Oh shit, the big boss of the Gorons? Talk about a naked snake. Jesus Christ, sir, put that thing away. Put some clothes on, you fucking monster. Why don't you go destroy the monsters inside of Dodongo's cavern for us? Prove you're a real man. Now you can pull up bomb flowers. Yeah, you need a fucking magical item to fucking pull weeds. Around the time the second elbow starts turning around, I think. Yeah, that worked. Look at me. Look at me. Look at that shit. Boy's frozen in time. Bro got hit with that fucking Dio Stando power. How much is this red ass shirt? How much is this fucking red polo? $200. Okay, now it's gonna work because it's down. Fucking magic bean soil. A lot of secrets with that shit. 